drag, he's going to be quicker, I'm telling you. I'm glad you said that, Al, but not me. All right. They came up that final corner. I think the aerodynamic horns made the difference Mr. up the Drive straightaway. The obstacle well, course. Here was the fight between Snakebite at the bottom of the screen, the big green truck, and Bulldozer, the big horned bull. Well, the guy in the Bulldozer truck got over that set of cars extremely well and then did a tremendous job on this car with bringing the car, the truck sideways across the turn, and I think that's where he wanted, and that was in this turn. That made me that's a great name for a monster truck driver. That is. Sky. Sky Hartley. Better than Bill Mudd, I guess. Ooh, that's, that's Samson on the other end, barking. And What's Patrick. That? Snake by rolls into the uh, state. Love the flashing red eyes. There you go again. You're there. I mean, you love both of these. They're, I do. I, they're they're three-dimensional trucks. They're, they're right up your alley, but... One basic Chevrolet design body, one Ford design body. I don't think Dan Patrick's going to make the same mistake twice. I hope not. I think Clutch Problem probably got it the first time around. I think the Clutch hooked up quicker than they wanted it to. Kind of like a centrifugal clutch on a go-kart, well. Real simple. It's, it's a lot harder than that, but that's the way it works. Dan Patrick's going to slide into position. points, I should say. Into that drag race. He did a wonderful job driving this snake by truck. Getting off these corners with the tires turned already to get you over the setup. Four cars around. You have the, uh, become quite the expert on this. Uh, oh, yeah. And, and, and I respect, like Randy does and Katie does, I respect your, uh, your input on this. Which one of those trucks is going to win? Bulldozer. Uh, I didn't think I had a problem with that. I, I'm a fan, man. I'm not a bandwagon fan. I like the snake bike. Good looking truck. Love the flash knives and the big fangs. Bulldozer's got me one over right now. Good looking truck. Tell you what. They have even brought you pizza. Wow. I, that, that was some good launch in there. I couldn't tell you. My vantage point didn't allow me to see the winner of that one. No, me either. And Bulldozer gets the win. And you are the man. I, I guess I am starting to figure out this monster truck. Think it's all in the horns, Mike. I'm telling you, the aerodynamic horns are the key to this deal. The truck is from Colorado, so it should run good. Cobra Creek, Colorado, and Snake Bite. It's a Ford body, but it's custom designed, as you would call the three-dimensional design. A big 572 in the back of it. The truck runs exceptional well. Got a young, young, good young driver in it. Sky Hartley is, he is awesome when it comes to this. Only three years. Last time I was with Sky, he had to make that call home when he turned the truck over. That was <laughs> uh, three years ago out in uh, California. Putting the neck brace on there. Safety very important in these trucks as he doesn't want to bob and weave too hard on that. That's Jay a Patterson good look at tonight. They take off. They get the green flag. And Samson looks what, like he has a... What can come on the inside? That's what he wanted to do. He wanted to get on the inside, but he takes down a pole. Snakebite with the lead as they cross the cars for the first time. Snakebite has a big lead, and now he's going to go across, and as they cross the middle, it's going to be Snakebite. Well, Patterson had mentioned earlier that he was going to try to go between the whoops and the starting line of the mud pit. He did that, and it cost him dearly. Just when he took down the pole, I think he lost concentration, and when that happens, your history. I don't well, care how good you run when you lose the competition. And Mike, one of the things about here is that they don't get any practice before they head out here. Now here's Snake by taking his run. Well, Sky really, just, what a name for a monster truck driver, Sky, and that's just exactly what he does to the truck. Watch the back of the truck come around. This young man is just finishing up with that pass. He's awesome. Three years in this, and the guy is on top Snake of the game by, already. Both these trucks are awesome. Well, the two people that own these trucks, not a lot of love lost. <laughs> Of course, we're talking about Dan Runty 
And Sky Hartley getting ready in the snake bite there. You see the eyeballs flashing. He is ready to go. He's got his reflector shield up there on the front end. They are getting them powered up, and they will go up and scoot up next to that first uh, little jump there and get ready for the green flag from Jim Harbuck. Sky, and I don't think this would happen, but if anything, Sky could be just a little bit intimidated uh, racing against Dan Rante. Also, in the second round, he wants to win. He's got him, though, at the first turn. It is Hartley. He has got the lead across the first set of cars. It is still snake bite. Mike, he's doing it. Uh, you're going to have to hold on. Huge upset. Sky, Hartley, and the snake bite have just beaten Bigfoot and Dan Runty. A great run for the snake bite. Fantastic. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. The kid did everything right. Nothing wrong. Great steering on the back of it. And this, let's take a look at him as he's going to come right up into the, the easy boy. Truck that, lifts that's the, the lazy front. boy where I come from, but I know what you're saying. Look, comes off. The tires are already ready to go. The rear steering is cut. He's got the truck swinging around, headed for this straight area right here, up and over the cars, lands well. Now watch. Watch when he comes down in this. Watch when he comes to this finish line. Man, that was, that Mike, that was just a pretty run. He did everything he was supposed to. Got it turned hard and then got it straightened out extremely quickly. Well, we talked about Sky Hartley and the job that he did. Walt standing by with him down in the pit. Yes, sir, I got Sky Hartley down here in the snake bite. Sky, you took on the foot and you mashed on him. Yes, I've been running uh, Dan Runty for a few years now and he's always a talent to beat and he's one of the best. And, man, I'm excited. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, do you think it's the big red snake eyes that just popped out and bit him? Yeah, I think they scared him, intimidated him a little bit. Well, I'll tell you what, Scott, you did a tremendous job. You had these rear wheels working well, and you got off the line quick. Did you do something different for this high altitude? Yeah, I changed my pill. You know, your air density gets a lot lower when you're up here, and I had to lean out my motor as much as I could, and it seems to be working fine so far. Well, I'll tell you what, the snake bite struck tonight. Back up to the guys in the booth. I tell you, Mike, he did a great job. He did a wonderful job. Remember this, lean is mean. When, well, you, start, when you start leaning it down, you got a tendency to burn pistons. There's a fine line between horsepower and burn pistons, and he's on the line. Well, Snake Bite will get 60 points. He's not king of the hill yet, but he's a long way Black forward, and we're going to come back a bit. He's going to toss it. They're looking right down at him. He is actually up in the grandstand, Mike. I think after he saw Runty almost unable to stop in the big foot, he got himself up off the floor. Well, I, I wouldn't be on the floor with him. The floor's tight. But we're using every bit of it. I'm not going to be down there with him. And I trust them all. All right. They're firing him up now. They're going to bring him up, and they're going to stage him. There's no timing lights or anything like that. It's just by the eyeball. And then both drivers are going to focus down to the other end of the arena and to get the final green flag from our starter, Jim Harbuck. He's gonna raise that flag and then toss it, and he's getting ready to do that now. Tensing up as they hit the start line. Drivers signal them, they are ready to go. Here comes the green. Man, another close one. That was very close. I believe Samson took it, though, just maybe by uh, wrist length or something. <laughs> it went, yeah, and he's got the bands on the front there. It's also, he was able to get some uh, decals on his truck this weekend from High Tech, his trailer company. Here's the start. Here's the finish. He does. He, he takes it probably a fender length. The tr truck landed well. Now, again, Gene Patterson is, is piloting Samson here for Dan Patrick. So he's going to take it from the line, trying to beat off the snake bite of Sky Hartley, who won the obstacle course earlier tonight. And this is the they, staging process. Yeah, yep. They come in to stage. I actually think that the, the snake bite truck leaves on it just a little bit. Well, here's the front of the snake bite. Here he comes, and over five cars, and down to the finish. I don't know about anybody else, but that just kind of makes me... <laughs> I kind of hunkered over a little bit when they uh, got down to that part you of it. Got your beef jerky swirling there. Well, I'll tell you what, he's... Well, on the other side of the arena, they actually make a circle. The finish lines are identical, but you're you're going on two different tracks. As you can see, one on one side, one on the other. This is going to be great. you got to give just a little bit of a, an edge to Dave Byers in that snake bite truck because that young... And there they go. And the snake bite gets across his hill very quickly. Julie Christian and Vince Behaven, not quite so fast, but here they come across the line. As you can see, he does a great job. Have a look at him. Spin that snake bite truck around. And over the tower he goes. He's got a line up as he closes in on Julie Christie. And it was the snake bite. 
Ho, ho, he put it on. He had a good run going, sank by about half track, about halfway around, was maybe a three quarters of a truck in the lead. Uh, I think it wasn't a real strong test, but he got a good feel of the track. He got to see what the racetrack was going to do, how the clay is going to match up. But so all in all, it was real good, tight racing, but sank by the winner tonight. Well, you can see him bring it off of these. Uh jumps he brings it up gets that whole 10,000 pound truck loose in the air and watch him spin it around this tight corner four wheel steering fully hydraulic well one thing about it he had to have the tires cut when he come off that jump starting line, you think the motors night. have died they're checking the re the kill switches out to shut some trucks off of for a remote control, if something wants to happen, the driver become incapacitated, they can push a button and shut the motor down. Here's the other side of it. The snake bite. Yes. Co Cobra's truck out of Cobra Creek, Colorado. You know, it's a Ford truck. It is tough. He has got very, very good equipment. Very good equipment. I tell you, look, some of the lines on Snake Bite, it looks like maybe Ford took some of those lines and incorporated into their new F-150. It, it kind of gives you that idea a little bit, doesn't it? Well, one thing about this truck, believe me, he can win this race. Uh, a lot of times you think, you know, Bigfoot's got a lock on something. That is not the case. The lights are on on Snake Bite. They pull them into stage. It will be, Walt, a great race. Minimum weight, 10,000 pounds, five tons of feet. Five guns a piece of about to let's race them. And it looks like Snake Bite got the jump on him, but it looks like he pins it right up on the wheels as him to come across. It's very close. They're dead heat right now. They are absolutely dead. The line is dead. Looks like... Uh, Oh, listen. Say, gonna, I'm not going to call that one. It was too close for me to call. Doesn't say official on my shirt either. I tell not you what. One spot. They were just absolutely look like they crossed the line at the same time. That's how close these two trucks are. Let's take a look at the replay. Here's Foot. He gets it up on two wheels just a little bit. Picks up the left one. That right one's just barely on the ground or the left rear. Now he's on the throttle. Let's see if I can. It. From my vantage point, and I'm not the official, but it looked like the blue truck. It's an inch aluminum Ford up against a blown 460. Both of them on alcohol. There's no nitrous oxide, no, no nitromethane allowed in this agents, as they call them. No oxygen-carrying fuel in it, any of these trucks, whether it is pro arena trucks or monster trucks. There's no oxygen carrying fuels allowed in the sport. There they set. Two of the best. They are lined up. They're state of the art. They're shock, gas shocks. 26 inch travel on these trucks. As the man comes in, looks them over. This is gonna, going to be great. Backs out. He's got the motor running. These are alcohol motors. They'll actually run and perform much better when they're warm. So they won't get in any big hurry. Julie will not get in a big hurry. She moved into stage now. Here comes Snake Bite, slithering his way up to the starting line. Reaction, reaction, the name of the game right here. It will be butterflies flat, and the trucks will be airborne for just a short period of time. Here they go, it all very quickly, and it was the Snake Bite, and just popped the throttle, popped the brakes, and it was Snake Bite who did it and did misbehaving in. Julie Christensen showing a, a great job out there, but the snake bite just, you know, they say that nothing strikes quicker than the snake. This truck builds a lot of horsepower. Picked the right front tire, probably two foot off the ground from the starting line. We've talked about it all night long, what kind of bite that this truck has. Look at the right front tire, watch this work. Picks up both the tires, the right's a little bit higher, settles them almost to the end. The guy's on a vengeance mission, he could be tough. Snake bite is... Really a good running monster truck. Now, when I got Dave Byers, the driver of Snake by Dave, great run. Yeah, we're hooking up really good here tonight. We've got really good dirt. Um, hopefully next round, I think I've got Bigfoot. Hopefully I can take him out, take the finals here. And that's going to come down to reaction time, isn't it? Yeah, it's got a lot to do with reaction time. Dan's got a lot more seat time than I do, but how many things do you know that's quicker than a snake? Great. Good luck to you. Thank you. Trust me, these guys are going to let it all go. Bigfoot will sit king of the hill. Snakebite can take this thing away. This is going to be one great race. Trust me, these guys are both lightning fast. Dan Runty is as quick off the starting line as I've ever seen in a monster truck. This guy is truly awesome. This young man sitting on 
the snake back truck, state bike truck, Dave Byers, he's coming of his own right now. Let's see the crowd behind him 100%. They pull in the stage. They backing snake bite up just a little bit. Now they're putting some heat in the motors. And like you said, these alcohol burning motors, you put some heat in them, that makes them produce more horsepower. A little bit of a sight job. They hold back, hold back. Now you come in the stage. Big Again, foot on the line. Front engine in the snake bite, rear mid engine in the big foot. Snake bite now pulls in the stage. This is going to be truly reaction time. When, when the green falls, you better go for it. You better be there before it hits the ground. And it was close, close, close. But it was the Bigfoot by just an edge as Runchy just came off the line and just hammered it. Just had that snap instantaneous. Watch it. He just maybe a, maybe a half a fender. Yeah. Just a half a fender in the lead. But you know what? That's good as 10 miles. Yep. An inch is as good as a mile. Like we hadn't seen. That was Deuces Wild. And this is one we have seen. Snake bite. Guy Hartley with the snake bike truck. Something we're going to see tonight is it's different than we've seen also earlier in the year. Earlier in the year, they did a trace chase race where one they passed over each other's cars. This arena is big enough that each racetrack will have a lane by itself, so the trucks never cross to each other's lane. It's just good down to earth racing, Ralph. And in the other lane, here's that we're talking about. Well, that first set of cars is sitting right about the 50-yard line here. If the Indianapolis Colts are in town for an NFL game, give me some perspective of how the field is laid out here. Boy, what a great jump for Snake Bites. Sky Hartley just really, really did a great job. Deuce is wild and trouble. He's got to get out of the way so Sky Hartley can finish. It's a tight turn down there. put it to him, didn't he? Oh, mercy. It was just unbelievable. Hartley really, really did a good job. Now, something else to do. He's going to finish up with Deuce as well. That's what he came for. He wants to get his shot at it. Also, Ralph, something you're going to notice tonight that we haven't noticed before, if they take out a pole in a turn, it is a DQ. So they've got to stay away from those poles in the previous week. You take a pole out, that was perfectly okay. Go ahead and run. Tonight, if you take that pole out, you're going to lose. Watch Sky Hartley. When he leaves, by the time he gets to the cars, he's three truck links in, in ahead. And Deuces Wild gets in trouble as the back end comes around. The truck look, does not steer the way he wants it to, and Sky is on his way to an easy victory. Let's check in with Dave Burns downstairs. Dave, what do you think of that one? Hey, Ralph, it was a great race for Sky Hartley and Snakebite, and that is exactly what he wanted. For him, that was a practice run. He now knows what the course is like, and his next challenger will be Samson, who will see the course for the first time in the quarterfinals. So for Sky Hartley, it happened just the way he had passed it out. On the cutting edge of monster truck racing technology. And two good looking trucks, too. There's a great looking snake bite truck. The big biceps of Samson on the other lane. Dan's done a lot of uh, research and development over the past few weeks, and, and he's got the truck building just an abundance of horsepower. Now, granted, all the time, horsepower is not a needed thing, but on this racetrack, you need horsepower. There is Kevin. Kevin. Hugh. pretty bad on the, the turn. Now, oh, he's coming back around. Got to give it to Sky Hartley and Patrick has, Patrick has knocked off an oil filter. He and where Snake Bike is making it, Mike, is in the turn. He gets a great lead, but watch how well he gets to this turn. This is so close at this point, but you're right, Ralph. He gets around the, the curve. Look how tight that is. He's, he's using both front and rear steering. Dan didn't use quite enough rear steering on the truck. He gets in the turns and out of the turns much better. That snake bite truck really pirouettes around the pole just beautiful. You know what I'd like to see, Ralph? Me shut up and go home? Thank you. No, just kidding, Ralph. Bulldozer and snake, and snake bite. bite. Ralph is in heaven. Oh, yeah. Two three-dimensional truck and Ralph is out of the road. Holy cow, this thing's like quick. Look at the turn. That's where he is just striking. 
came back. Guy Hartley is the man on the mission. I'll tell you what, Bigfoot's got his hands full tonight. Guy Hartley looks great. He came to play, didn't he? Didn't he? Guy Hartley came to play tonight, folks. Go Cobra sent him out to bring home the beautiful trophy. Great, but when it comes to the drag race, look how good he launches this truck. The truck, the, there's a lot of bite out there in that starting line area, and he picks the front end of this truck up and then goes for it. And when he does, it just flies. Boy, if I'm Dan Runty, I gotta be a little concerned right about now. Well, first, he can be concerned, but he needs to get by this next truck, and then he can be concerned. Yes, that's right. One the more semi final to go. The driver can shut the engine down, and they're testing those radios to make sure the motor's shut off. Here we go. Finals of the obstacle course. It will be a good one. Oh, look at Chicago. Look at that. Oh, they got he's Executioner down on the front of him. Executioner. Can he do this? turn here the final turn this guy gets it on its nose a little bit that hurts him when the truck has to wait on the truck to set down he doesn't get around the curve quite like he should but look at this two truck links out in front of him Equalizer did a trip. I think Sky Hartley's going to win this track. Boy, the truck is looking off of the starting line tremendously uh, and I I think what we're going to end up with tonight is when it's all over with, they're going to be going to the computers and the scorekeepers. Oh, Mike, that thing wheelies like evil can evil. It almost went over backwards. That is horsepower, sky, partly knew what it was doing, but it is amazing that he could lift the front of that 10,000 pound truck. What is this, Ralph? Six foot seven? Easily. And he never lifts. Never lifts. The and jump is what brings him back down to earth. When it, when the, it is, a, that's awesome. Now that's power. Big power. I just am amazed at how that snake bite has been wheeling off the line. This guy has been able to drive it just so dramatically. That's very true. I mean, your breath just leaves you. You think he's going right over, but he doesn't lift. He's right on the jag jagged edge. Watch this again. This is a great race. They both leave well, but look at Hartley. Look how high that truck is. Look at that. And he, he's staring straight up at the arena ceiling. Strapped in, looking straight up. But the thing about this is he's got this down. Got it down so it goes across the finish line. Oh, Ralph. Got both of them. I know, but I'm not going to be a bandwagon fan. I'm sticking with my bull. I knew that. I'll take the snake. There's a lot of steam coming out of the bottom of the bulldozer before it took off. This snake bite beats equalizer. Does that not tie them? It's got to. And then we'll have to go back to some times in the obstacle course. Well, we said this was the granddaddy of the finales for the monster trucks. Oh, boy. Boy, have they lived up to the billing, huh? I'm telling you, this is, this is as good a racing as we have had all year long. It's so close. David Morris, Sky is... They've both been doing everything right. It is really difficult to pick a winner. In fact, I don't think we should. I think we should just sit back and enjoy this one. What do you think? Don't bother me. I'm enjoying the race. Here we go. We hope you're enjoying it with us. The finale for King of the Hill. The snake wins the drag racing portion.
position. Now, oh boy, what a great way to close out this season. We have officials that do this for us, Ralph. And good thing, because our math ain't that good. That is calculate the overall winner. This snake stands to strike. But just like the Cobra, look at that. It comes up ready to strike. Sky heavy on the throttle. Mike, not only did he lift the front end, but the back end of the truck, by the time it got over the jump, was 10 feet in the air. Look at this, Ralph. Look that, at that. He was flying over the stadium. Boy, that kid has done such a great job. And on top of that, he's a real nice young man. He's just a good person. Well, king of the hill. Who is it gonna be? Do the fangs get to sink into the big trophy? We're gonna find out when we come back to Indianapolis. You don't wanna miss this. King of the Hill about to be crowned at the RCA Dome.